Okay, moving on, um, I'd like to share with you guys my two holy grail nude lipsticks. And these are the ones I think that best match my skin tone. So if you're, if you're an NC30 to 35 and MAC, um, you guys should pay, pay close attention to the next few products. So let me begin with my holy grail nude. This is a Burberry lip cover in Cameo number no. 2. I love this packaging. It's a magnetized packaging. And the product um, has the Burberry check embossed on the actual lipstick. I don't know if that's going to show, but yeah. Anyway, it has a beautiful satin finish to it. It's extremely creamy and glides on the lip almost without a need of a lip gloss as well. So this is Burberry's um, lip cover in Cameo number no. 2. And it's just absolutely beautiful. Rouge Coco lipstick. And this one has a bit more of a mauve pigmentation to it, a bit more pigmented than the Burberry lip cover. Organdy Rose number no. 9. Here's Organdy Rose number no. 9, and it's just a bit more of a mauve pinkish nude. Looks absolutely amazing on my lip as well, and it just really does well for my lip pigmentation. Now I'm going to proceed with more of, um, still in the neutral palettes but a bit more in the pinkish mauve shades these two um really are honorable mentions for me because of the amount of um frequency that i grab for them and these are both jar lipsticks for addict lipstick in the regular formulation this is in rose lingerie 323 so this is um the dior addict lipstick in 323 rose lingerie your addict shines the new release ones. This is an LA586. This is how it looks. It's very similar still, just the formulation and it's a bit more sheer. So this is um, Ro Dior Attic Shine in LA586. Burberry Lip Cover in Cameo number no. 2. Um, Chanel Rouge Coco in Organdy Rose. Dior Attic Lipstick in 323 Rose Lingerie and Dior Attic Shine in LA586. Now I'm going to proceed to lip gloss. Let me begin with some drugstore ones. There's two drugstore um, brands that I truly adore in terms of lip glosses. I think they come very close to a lot of higher end lip glosses if not even outbeating some of them. One is from Revlon. It's their Color Burst lip glosses that come in this packaging. The particular shade that I fancy is 002 Crystal Lilac, which is like a milky, um, cool tone pink. And I've swatched it right here. So this is um, Crystal Lilac. And this looks absolutely amazing as a gloss to top over a lot of nude or pinkish shades. The second one is from Bourjois and this is their 3D Effect Max Lip Gloss. And this is how it looks. I'm not so sure if this is available in the US and Canada. We can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart. Particular shade that I fancy is 63 Rose Eclat. And this is the one right here. There is one particular lip glass which I have rediscovered as of late and I truly, I've been wearing it over a lot of other different lip products. This is the MAC lip glass in PER, which is spelled P triple R. And it's essentially a nudish beige milky pink, um, which looks like this. And when, when swatched, this is how PER looks. And it's a... Uh, nudish milky beige with pink i guess and it it really looks amazing categories lip products i think the best one that mac has ever released and i think across the board i really think this is even better than their lip glasses are the mac lip jellies which come in the squeeze tube like this this one that i have on hand is bubble lounge and is my favorite I, um bubble lounge is kind of a frosty champagne and essentially a lot of their lip jellies, they really have a certain um, shimmer or frost in the formulation. So this is how it first looks when you do just squeeze it out. It has a beautiful foil frost-like effect which looks like this. And over 
um, when you put it over lip liners or lipsticks, it just looks very sexy. I mean, it's one of those, I think for me, it's like a cocktail lip gloss, like something you'd wear to the bar or when you go out at night. It's just, I mean, it has a beautiful finish to it very unique lip gloss is the last honorable mention this is paul and joe this is actually my first lip gloss or lip product from them they're a very good brand but they're just on the higher end i guess um this one that i have is in 04 which is a coral pink with some silver shimmers i guess um this is a non-greasy non it's not um a sticky formulation definitely it's the opposite of that this is made in Japan and the reason why I bring that up is because this is very reminiscent of a lot of the glosses that are made in Japan or even Je Asia in general they're not um, sticky in consistency at all um, this one just has it doesn't have really that much shimmer or reflect in it but it's just a beautiful formulation and it's very easy to wear that it looks really great over top rouge cocoa shines and it's just a beautiful natural sheer gloss to wear during the day so last but not the least definitely not the least are these um this is some of the swatches of them um this lipstick from this product is the best in terms of pigmentation and it is very consistent and constant the quality of the pigmentation that for me they truly beat makeup forever and they beat mac by inglot which i'm sure a lot of you guys know by now this is how the packaging looks this is a european cosmetic brand and the most that i can liken it to is mac of europe i guess and they have different finishes to them just like mac but they definitely have quality wise and price wise are so much better than mac so these are the favorite shades that i actually have and i've swatched them for you guys just to show you guys the co consistent quality of pigmentation that they have whether they have their satins or mattes i'll just put the shades in the description bar below but an honorable mention would definitely have to be this red right here which is a cool tone red this is the shade 126 and this i think is just the closest thing to max cherry um line so this is max cherry lip liner right here and Cherry Lip Liner by MAC has already been established as the most universally flattering red, cool tone red on most skin tones. And if you guys can see right here how um, Inglot's number 126 lipstick, and this has a satin finish as well, so it's not very drying. It looks absolutely amazing with it. I'm going to show you how it looks on the actual bullet, and this is how it looks so definitely this is holy grail in terms of pigmentation if you're looking for specific shades or you just don't want a neutral the only brand that i usually grab for or gravitate towards is really inglot i forget to mention one thing and this is an honorable mention i just don't know why i forgot to bring it out this are clarins um lip products this one is the instant light natural lip perfecter and it comes in a squeeze tube like this and it's a doe foot applicator well not a doe foot but a sponge tip applicator for me this lip gloss is um my choice of lip gloss especially during summer when i don't really want any much pigmentation i want my natural lip color to shine through but i do want the convenience of a skincare Ben, a skin benefiting moisturizer on my lip um, without the sensation of gunk on my lip this is definitely the lip balm for that and this is their new release for the summer or the spring it's their um let's see color quench lip balm long lasting moisture and shine which is this one right here this one has obviously more pigment it's um this is the one right here um just because they're no fuzz they're very easy to apply while they're very moisturizing and because they're from clarence you know the quality of ingredients that they have so if i will be traveling it's usually i don't do any of the other pretty ones i just really grab clarence as my lip moisturizer because it leaves a certain sheen or tint to the lip as well so this is just a beautiful nude when i put this on this is in 08 so 
that is definitely really it this time. Um, thanks again for watching and I hope you guys have a great weekend.